mind. I'm standing there doing a tricep pushdown exercise, and since I can't see, I'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer, until all of a sudden, this woman's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm blind, I say to her. Her response? I don't care. Stop staring at me. Huh? She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind and explain to this guy as well, I'm blind. I wasn't staring at anybody. <laughs> he says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable by looking at them. <laughs> Wait for it. Excuse me. Yeah? The church trying to spot me. Because I spotted you from across the room the moment you walked in. Oh. Oh, at least I tried. Should I go up to him? And just poke him? He looks like depressed. Should I do it? I dare you. Should I touch his face? Thank you. <laughs> Merry fucking lift miss, you lazy ass hoes. It is time to get your holly jolly lift on at Macy's. Train hard and eat harder. We don't like small bitches around here. So get your lazy ass up before Santa mistakes you for one of his tiny ass elves. Type of person to this is how you cut a Zan cake. Mm. Go all the way down. Shut your bitch ass up, Troy. I cannot be the only one that be having better workouts when my makeup, hair, and outfit is on point. <laughs> you got to squeeze and you're at the bottom, y'all. When I got my favorite shorts on, you know, the ones that be doing what they need to do, that's when I be feeling the best at the gym. I need you guys to work on loving yourself for who you are. That girl you want to be, you are you just need to act like it. Girl, you just need to act like it. I really want to focus on my diet because you can't outwork a bad diet. And I'm the first to tell you, I'm all about balance. But I am going to clean shit up. You don't got to be the most shredded. You don't got to be squatting 200 plus pounds. No, that don't mean you're a gym baddie. You're working hard. You're being who you are. And you're loving yourself through the process. That's what a gym baddie is all about. I love you guys so much. We're going to be gym baddies together. I'm sorry. I just need one minute to make sure I look good. Do you think I look good, Mr. Armstrong? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just slammed on my fucking vagina. I smoke Peter's pound. Can't see right now. I still don't. So I went to the gym today, it was awesome. Great gym day, except for when you're trying to do bicycle crunches and you got big old boobies. Those girls are just living large. And you're just like, get the hit in the face with your own ladies. I don't know, that's not gonna work out. We'll try again. I'll probably get hit in the face with my ladies. It's called wear a real shirt, but I guess she can't thirst trap anyone at the gym then. I swear these females' only personality is their looks. No wonder why when they hit the wall, they're lost and clueless. That's the best thing to ever happen to society when these thoughts finally get humbled after hitting that wall, also known as when the easy mode expires. Then they actually have opinions about the world around them. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous.
And of course, some poor sap married this country thought. And she's a mom, so she's hooked for child support for 18 years if she decides she needs another HOE phase. And yes, she's got a bunch of tats, so I'm adding 10 bodies per tat, which equals too many bodies to commit to her. She's on social media showing off her goods, giving Country Chad and Tyrone the Batman signal to slide into her DMs. at the gym at powerhouse gym in Berea and I think the thing went too far and I'm just stuck upside down and I cannot get myself upside right side up and I just can't I can't get it back up I'm trying to get my buddy's attention but he's in the other room lifting and this is this is so embarrassing <laughs> Turf room. I know as soon as they get here, someone's gonna walk in the back room and be able to help me out. But I'm just, I'm sorry, like, I'm just stuck. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Alright, bye. That's funny. The other person is ignoring her. Gotcha, bitch! Congratulations, feminists. You played yourself. You cried about men being creeps or checking you out. This is what's going to happen, and I'm here for it. And oh dear lord, my ankles are burning! Are you, uh, are you rescuing me? <sighs> Just easiest, easiest Ready? rescue ever. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm sure when these first responders started their career, they thought they'd be rescuing people from burning buildings or kittens out of trees or saving someone from a stroke, not rescuing fat feminists from their dumb decisions. I'll give her credit for going to the gym and starting an active lifestyle, but that doesn't mean she can't do everything fit people can do. She needs to earn that by losing the weight. A lot of men work out so they can one day be shirtless at the beach because they know they're an eyesore without a shirt on. They actually, dare I say, have humility and self-awareness, especially since the so-called body positivity movement doesn't include males. It's fat females wanting and trying to shame most in-shape men to accept them for their flaws. Weird how that works that these post-wall feminists usually aren't trying to date plus-size males. It's always the men who basically have a second job working out, put in real hours at the gym and are on strict diets, and even starve themselves, which means they're hungry all the time because they're on a calorie deficit so their six-pack abs are visible. 
One of the top comments says, they should do something about those machines. I'm surprised nobody hasn't complained enough to the company about having an emergency get out button. How about, maybe overweight people shouldn't be using those machines. It's always someone else's fault but feminists who's in denial about her life. Another comment says, Apple Watch should use this in their commercial. She's lucky she had one, and she had reception. Another comment says, I finally found the video. Nice, but answer me. What good are those inversion joints? And the female in the video responded, It really does make your back feel good. So that's what it is, an inversion table. And according to Google, it says, An inversion table can help relieve the pressure gravity puts on your spine. Therefore, it can help decompress your spine. I think what would relieve the pressure on her spine is if she actually did cardio to lose weight, not some machine that's built for someone half her size. I'm pretty sure machines like this inversion table should put a warning sign not to use it if you exceed a certain kind of weight. If we didn't live in the gynocentric west, because the company would be sued for discrimination against fat people. Like shit has to be reinforced with steel rebar just so land whales don't break it. You can't make this up. I'm sorry. Not everybody fits in the bad bitch genre. It's a genre. Not everybody fits on the rasta. Damn, they look like twins. These thoughts are multiplying like rats. That's how you know the mom had a so-called HOE phase, because she's co-signing these antics. And if a female has a so-called HOE phase, that means what class? Once a 304, always a 304. Just wait till these OF performers have kids and society will collapse in free fall speed. Enough with these fucking gym creep videos, okay? It's a fucking dude walking through the gym and he looks at somebody. Who gives this shit? He's not coming up to you, freaking grabbing you and fucking molesting you. So what? Someone's coming to look at you. You know what? That's how a lot of people met in my day back in the gym. They'd see someone they liked, they'd go up and they'd say hi. But nowadays, they don't want to do shit because they'll end up in a fucking video like this. The original video was deleted. Could setting up a camera at the gym make people look over instinctively to try to avoid being in the shot? Also, maybe that's the only squat rack and he was waiting to use it, but this thought is hogging it for some stretching exercises that she can easily do somewhere else. Or maybe he was debating to actually talk to her, then when it was clear she was taken, he moved on. Like the guy said in the video, this Karen isn't being harmed or violated. Top comment says, need to ban recording in gyms. And someone responds, it is at my gym. Some listen, but some don't. That's crazy. I'm willing to bet it's gym thoughts who don't listen. There's your answer to why gyms don't ban filming, because if they're corporate gyms, they're too scared of the feminist backlash to actually enforce the rules. Another commenter says, This is exactly to all men. Mirrored sunglasses in the gym. Assemble. Exactly. A lot of these gyms have bright ceiling lights anyways. Can't even bench without looking up. But I've been saying this since day one. If these thoughts are wearing tight clothing where you can see their camel toe, let's wear the shades. Another comment points out, they're making a video that everyone can watch. She posts videos of herself on social media. Does she not realize that anyone can watch those? Oh, you know who this female is? It's Thor's wife. For those who don't know, Thor was the strongest man on earth for several years and he married what looks like a thought. I told you we needed more glitter. And this is code word for her being a B-I-T-C-H. Guaranteed he only puts up with it because she looks good. Whether it takes two hours or four hours, I don't care. If you're part of this team, you're staying until the routine is... Dude could have had any woman, yet he married a modern woman who's trying to compete with his notoriety. Any traditional woman would understand she won the lottery marrying a real Viking and be happy to be in the background, but not this thought. And of course, despite being married, but she's posting thirst trap videos of her ass. With all due respect to Thor, this is a smash and dash female, not a wife or a mother. He played stupid games, and he's gonna find out. I'm calling this now, dude is going to get divorced eventually. I don't know if this is my fault, or they just don't want me there because I'm fat. I don't know anyone that's the same weight as me, or similar size, that also does spinning. So, I was pretty intimidated. 
I was told for my first time I needed to be there a little early so that they could help me set the bike up and show me how everything works. And that's what I did. I stand next to the bike waiting for the instructor to come. She walked into the room. She's like, if you're new, raise your hand. I raise my hand and she comes up to the girl standing right beside me, starts talking to her. Then she turns to me and asks me if it's my first time and I say, yeah. And she adjusts the bike for me and clips me in. She doesn't say anything to me the whole time. So I have no idea what's going on. She just walks away. Music starts and everything. I start saying something about the resistance and turn the knob left or right. And I'm trying, but it's not working. My brake didn't seem to be working either. I couldn't even get out of the bike to leave because she didn't tell me how to get out of it. Part of me is always gonna wonder if I'm being treated a certain way because of my body size. If you haven't realized this by now, modern women are professional victims, especially if they have social media. And I'm willing to bet this female gets the responses she gets because she's probably super entitled due to her big following. Riddle me this, Batman. How are gyms supposed to make money if they discriminate against overweight people? The demographic that the gym was made for. And cardio-style workouts that are least stressful on the joints like swimming and bicycling are the best for overweight people who just need to burn as many calories as possible. So I think she's doing the right exercise for her. And those spin bicycles are easy to operate. There's a knob for resistance. It was probably turned to the max resistance, which makes the bike unusable. It's not rocket science, but I guess that's too much logic for this bird brain. I lost 100 pounds. Of course I only look snatched in high-waisted pants. I lost 100 pounds. Of course I lost 90% of my friends. I lost 100 pounds. Of course I don't expect people to hold the door open for me. I lost 100 pounds. Of course everyone thinks I'm on Ozempic. I lost 100 pounds. Of course people pretend not to recognize me. I lost 100 pounds. Of course I gained 39 back super easily. This might be another reason why this chick was ignored because she's annoying. She's acting like losing weight is like climbing Mount Everest. Good for you. Do you want a cookie? I mean, a weight loss cookie? Let's see what the commenters think. One of the top comments from a female says, with the utmost respect, sincerely, get over yourself. That's funny. Females will call each other out if they don't share the same trauma. My point of her being a drama queen is validated. Another woman comments, open your mouth and ask questions when she was with you. Don't expect people to do it for you and know what you want. Exactly. But even this plus-size Decepticon lives life on easy mode and expects people to make her life easier like she's living at a hotel with butler room service. Ever heard the saying, squeaky wheel gets the grease? Chirping bird gets the worm? No one's going to know you need help if you're not asking for help, dumb wench. A verified, plus-size activist comments, I'm astounded at the amount of women who are just being cruel to this person. It's so pick-me bullshit. They're the same type of people who shame fat people and say we're lazy, but then when they see a fat person at the gym, they think, ugh, why are they here? No one can win with them. Go drink your AG1 and quit acting like a misogynistic bro. We have enough of those. What a shocker. Women being mean for petty reasons. Who would have thought? There's a MGTOW movement because of this reason. Imagine trying to date these bed wenches and I've got a newsflash for her. Fat people are lazy. That's why they're fat. They eat more calories than they burn off. It's simple math. Also, no one asks why fat people are at the gym. It's self-explanatory because they're trying to get in shape. And of course, she had to blame men at the end of her comment when calling out other Decepticons. That's the funniest MO. If no man is to be blamed, make up a reason to blame a man. And that's why MGTOW is spreading faster than STDs among streetwalkers. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.